Hi guys, um, I know there's not been a video for a while, but I just thought I'd shove this one up to keep you guys going for the time being. Um, so as you might see, this desktop, um, as you can see from the wallpaper, is Linux Mint. Um, I've not actually been using Linux distributions or like, you know, late, especially the latest version of Linux Mint, you know, I've not been using Linux as much lately, you know, since I've been a Mac owner, but I still play around with it on occasion, and I've started to um, set up a few distributions um, in virtual machines, Linux Mint being one of them. However, I have to say with the latest version, I'm not all that impressed with it. It's a little too basic and boring for me. I mean, basically, it's just very bare essentials and there's nothing that really makes it the mint for me now. The slab menu's gone, the, you know, a lot of the mint styling's gone, and basically, it's like a very watered down um, Ubuntu, although I'd say it's more like X Ubuntu or whatever, or Zoom Ubuntu, however you want to pronounce it. Um, basically, you've got two panels now instead of your single panel at the bottom. I think these panels started off light, but I was playing around with appearance preferences and looking at the themes and stuff, and then the default theme just wasn't in the list. And as soon as I selected another one and stuff, I lost the default theme. So that's daft enough in itself. Um, but as you say, there's two panels rather than just a single panel at the bottom. Uh, the panel at the bottom here works as your kind of taskbar and as uh, your desktop switcher, like so. And up here you have um, the top bar, as I say, so I'm guessing this is a gnome, and then you've got your top gnome panel, and then in the middle you've got your clock. Um, although what version of gnome this would be, then I don't know, because the latest version of gnome is you the gnome shell. Um, update icon and um, sound, um, wired connection, so that's basically internet connection icon, and then you've got this little kind of um, little mint version of me menu. And then here, all you've got is simple applications and places. You've got your, lo your locations and your places menu, and then you've got your applications here. That's it. No special features or tweaks or anything, just very basic. Now, I don't know whether I downloaded the wrong version or something, or, you know, but this seemed to be the mainstream 32-bit version of Linux Mint now, and basically this is what you get. Very disappointed, very, very boring. I mean, there's not even much I can say about it. You know, I mean, applications, fair enough, you've got, you know, your bare essential applications pre-installed, you know. Um, your disk burner, your scanner, LibreOffice installed, Firefox as web browser, obviously, XChat for IRC client, you know, transmission, BitTorrent, Thunderbird for mail, um, Ubuntu, Ubuntu also um, include Thunderbird for um, email now rather than evolution. Um, as I say, for LibreOffice suite, um, what's under the others? Uh, Tons of stuff, including Synaptic, Update Manager, blah, 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 Advanced Settings, um, which I don't know what that does, actually. I've not checked that. Uh, fonts, Shell. Okay, Show Dating Clock. Well, that seems strange, because it seems to show the date either way. Uh, show Time with Seconds. That does nothing either. Show the week, date, in the calendar. Oh well, we're not burning into the calendar at the moment. Uh, arrangements of arrangement of buttons on the title. Um, or minimize and close, maximize and close. Blah blah blah. Laptop lid, something or other. Shell extensions. Says nothing. Theme. Uh, your shell theme here, which <clears throat> doesn't seem to work, so, and then you've got your themes here, and you've got way more themes apparently. I don't know if that means that it is actually using GNOME Shell, and for some reason GNOME Shell is not working in this virtual machine then. I'm not entirely sure what it is. 
Uh, apparently we've got a few extra scenes here. Oh no, that just does the window border. Doesn't do anything with them lines, it just changes the window. Uh, Aurora, what's that? Okay, interesting. Uh, min X. Okay. Uh, min Z. Okay, so there's a couple there, but win me. Uh, wild mint. Yeah, see, nothing all that great. I don't know, you see. I mean, it might just be that it's supposed to be running Gnome Shell and, um, and basically, um, I can't, um, you know, I can't, for some reason, I can't be doing a running Gnome Shell, but if that's not the case, then I don't know what's with this version because it is very basic, very kind of stripped down, and basically, you might as well be using Exabuncher or something like that, and rather than, uh, rather than XFCE, I'd sooner be using an LXDE distro anyway. Um, so, not all that impressed with it, you know, very easy to navigate, very simple, not overly complicated, so if you want a simple OS, I suppose, but otherwise, not impressed at all, really. Uh, quite boring. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up at that, because um, I pulled an all-nighter, as I say, to try and fix my sleeping pants like, like a zombie at the moment. Um, so, before I go on waffling about nothing... Um, I'm going to call it the end of the video. So that's my impressions on this Linux Mint 12. Um, this is J100R. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.